Greetings. In this video, we're going to go over the new Realtrack reporting system, which we're proud to be releasing here in 2021. This new reporting system allows users to run reports much quicker, easily customize reports to gain the insights they need, and most importantly, also serves as a tool to let users actually explore their data, diving in for details on key metrics. Let's get started. Longtime Realtrack users will note I've got a new button active on my Realtrack toolbar. Clicking our new button brings up the new reporting interface. Along the left side, you'll see three different reporting modes that we offer, our dashboard, the reports themselves, and our insights pane. Just as a quick overview, the dashboard pane allows the user to show their favorite reports along with whatever real-time graphs and widgets they prefer. This dashboard can serve as a starting point for running common reports as well as getting a quick overview of the status of my shop. The reporting pane allows the user to run stock reports, create their own customized reports, as well as use our unique drill down feature to see the data behind the data. More detail on what raw data Realtrack used to calculate the results that are shown on the screen. Last, our insights panel is filled with gadgets and widgets that examine all aspects of your business. From production to shipping to invoicing, we offer real-time graphs to show you what's going on in your business right now. Let's start with reporting first. Once in the reporting pane, we can see various types of reports we can run. Jobs, estimates, invoices, etc. Let's look at a job report. Reports are split into our standard reports, which are the reports the Realtrack team has developed and designed to start with, along with custom reports, which are reports that users themselves have created. We'll run a standard report just to see the process. Let's take a look at the Job with Work Sessions report. When I double click on this report, a reporting window comes up. The report wants to know the criteria for the jobs that we want to look at. For this report, I'm going to look at all the jobs that have been entered this calendar year. With my criteria set, I click the Run button. Existing Realtrack users may note how much faster this report is than our existing reports. This report provides a summary of the labor costs for our jobs. One of the most common questions we get from our users is, I want to understand how these numbers are calculated. So we designed our new reporting system to not only report on and summarize data, but we also allow the users to quickly and easily see the data behind the data. Anywhere you see this drop down icon, the user is able to dig deeper into the statistics that are shown right here in real time. We've not only created a reporting tool, but a data exploration tool at the same time. When I expand my job here, we'll see a breakdown of every work session that went into this job. Similarly, when I click the drop down associated with my employee cost, I get another breakdown of all the individual work sessions that happened in my job. Any of these reports or any of the drill down details can be printed or exported to Excel with the click of a button. I'm going to customize the job with work sessions report to include the total price of my job as a column. In our prior reporting system, this was no small task, and many of our customers relied on our technical support staff to help them customize reports to their liking. This new system is easy enough that any user should be able to customize reports to their liking. Backing out of the report, I will click on the dupe button to create a copy of this report for us to customize. When I click over to the custom reports tab, we'll now see a report with the same name ready for our customizations. First, I'll pop in and change the name of the report to something that is easy to remember. Now I can just scroll through the list of our available fields and click on the price EXT field to add it to my display. With the field added, I can drag and drop the field to change its position, rename the field if I want, and also change the alignment on the display. The filters tab allows the user to permanently save settings and options specific to this custom report. For example, I may want to make the report that examines all my jobs creating shafts. I can add the tag shaft to our notes and tag field. If I save this filter, every time I ran this specific report, it would show me details for all the jobs with that tag. Let's keep this report simple. I'll save it for now and we can give it a run. Our freshly customized report has the column that we just added. Users are able to immediately change the sort order by clicking on a column they want to sort by. In addition, any column that has this light green color indicates that we're able to group the report by that field. If I drag my customer name column up to our group by bar, the report is immediately grouped by customer name. To return to our natural sort order, I can drag the customer name field off the group by bar and back onto the main report body. All right, let's take a quick look at our insights pane. 
Within Insights, we see a variety of graphs and widgets designed to give the user a quick update on the status of their shop as a whole. Along the top, we see some widgets that examine the invoicing and shipping from your company for the current month. Next to that, we've got an overview of the number of currently open jobs and the status of those jobs as a whole. Below our widgets are a series of graphs that examine the sales by employee and by customer. Along the bottom, we see displays measuring the profitability of my jobs, as well as the status of my purchasing. You'll note that all of these widgets and graphs have a checkbox next to them. Enabling the checkbox will tell Realtrack that you want the widget to be added to your dashboard. Let me check and enable a widget, and we can switch over to the dashboard panel to see that the widget has been added. In addition to my favorite graphs, I'm able to pin my favorite reports to the dashboard as well. We'll see that I've got a few reports already pinned to the dashboard, but let's quickly add another. I'll pop back over to my reports panel, and let's say I love this every invoice field custom report. I'll enable the fave checkbox for that report, and once again, I can head back over to the dashboard to see my new favorite report readily available for me. There's a ton more depth, especially in customizing reports to your liking, choosing how Realtrack will create groups and sort your reports, and much more. This video is just a quick introduction. We have prepared a written manual that goes into more depth on all these features. Please visit the Realtrack website and log into our new knowledge base to check it out. Thank you for your time.